quite right, Mrs. Corning, quite right. But we must get rid of this caper in our midst. Oh, that boy was born to be hung, ma'am. I've never been so shocked in all my days. Hush, Mr. Bubble, you must have had quite a trip. Why don't you sit down and have a nice cup of tea? Oh, it is nice to be appreciated, ma'am. <laughs> well, these paupers and this here parish, they don't appreciate me. We've given away nearly 20 loaves and a cheese and a half this very blessed afternoon, and still, them paupers don't appreciate me. Of course they don't. When will they, um, sweet Mr. Bumble? Oh, very sweet, indeed. You little tinky do! <laughs> oh, what? You have a cat. And, and kittens, I see. I declare. Oh, I am so fond of them, you can't imagine, Mr. Bumble. And, um, they're fond of their home, too. Why? Mrs. Corny, ma'am, any cat or, or kitten who, who should be fortunate enough to live with you, ma'am, and not be fond of its home, is an idiot, ma'am, and don't deserve to live in it. Oh, Mr. Bumble, really? Oh, there's no use disguising it, ma'am, an idiot. I've drawn it myself, with pleasure. Well, then you're a cruel man, a very hard-hearted man at all. Hard-hearted, Mrs. Corny? Hard? Are you hard-hearted, Mrs. Boyd? Dear me, what a very curious question coming from a single man. What could you want to know for? Love a chubby hobby. 